Hello? My landlord's trying to get me to leave you after stealing my stuff. I say landlord, he's not really a landlord. He's trying to get me to traffic money for him for his drug use. Um, my landlord's kicking up a fuss with me. Well, it's not even a land, it's not landlord. Like, it's letting me stay here. But, I mean, he's kicking me out. And he's just been threatening me and he's coming off on one and he's... <laughs> like, he's got his... It's like trying to get me involved in drug laundering and the money laundering and all that, I can't do it. Yeah, he works with, like, the dealers, he organises it, and he works, like, he regularly meets with a so-called Bulgarian Mafia group, I don't know if that's true or not, but I do know they operate in London a lot, as with cocaine involved, always cocaine, and, like, in part with it. The best thing is, like, I'm now £500 down and I could have used that as a deposit for somewhere in September and just gone home for the summer instead. But no, I tried my best to do what was right for me. But it didn't. It didn't matter. Caitlin's making out like I'm a liar, so I'm going to be really bluntly honest. You can type in Caitlin's birth name onto Google and read about what he did. He took his son to have a sex with someone who he believed was underage. Don't let me drown. I'm in a very real, real crisis point at the moment. I am having to move out because my um, money laundering landlord doesn't like me living here. So I've got a pack and I'm, the mental health team are coming out to help me find temporary accommodation. If that fails, I'm going to my grandparents, which isn't good for anyone because I will have no mental health support at all. I mean, I'm gonna end up back in hospital, which we don't want. I've got a pack, so I thought you'd like to pack with me. <laughs> Not great. Not great at all. No, I agree. You just spoke with one of, um, one of our colleagues at the roof. You spoke to on the phone. And what was, um, I guess the plan was that we're going to come and give you a visit. Are you happy for us to come see you? Yeah. I've got to move Rude. out, so I'll probably be back in, but... Um, I'm, getting, I'm getting kicked out of the flat. <laughs> so. Okay, well, but, um, we'll come and see you and we'll help you make a plan. I think remember the last time we did it, I think you'll be able to find a couple of options. So yeah, just stay calm and we um pop in and see you this morning. Okay. Well, I hope they're not going to insinuate that I had anything to do with this money thing because it wasn't me. Someone's had access to my room and my phones. But the iPhone's as good as locked. No, this is nothing like last year. This is nothing like last year. <laughs> You're comparing me being suicidal to dealing with drugs. You're comparing last year to this year. It's completely different. Please, can you just not start on me? Oh, I don't know where it is. I don't care. Yes. This will be the last clip from here. I'm done. I'm moving out. I'm going home. I'm going to my grandparents. I'm done. I'm actually just done. There's nothing I can do that will change your mind. Um, because... just come out publicly as well that it's um Kaylan in the wrong not me um I'm grateful for that because I thought I was happy I thought I was doing well here Apparently not. 
he took the five pound deposit, which is fine. Yeah, you know, do that for any tenancy, right? But now I've got no money to put down on another of the deposit because <laughs> the reason he's kicking me out is fucking bullshit. <laughs> it's absolutely fucking crap. Right, let's sit down. Let's talk. This vlog, I know, is emotional and. <laughs> horrible it's horrible it really is everything i have to say in this vlog is the reality of my life i'm back at my grandparents like i did not want that i wanted to be independent i want to live my life initially that was the plan me and kurt was getting on we got along i still do not know why he asked me to leave and i probably won't ever know Let's be real. But what I do want to throw out there is the stuff of Caitlin. Caitlin has been slandering my name a lot. And people are hating on me because I gave Caitlin a platform. Which on Twitter I did a live stream and I accepted that I fucked up with that. Because I did know about Caitlin's past. Right, I knew. Because I got told. But at the time we met, I knew nothing. The first video I filmed with Caitlin, I still didn't know everything. The most recent video being last week is when I found out absolutely everything. And people have been attacking me online saying, oh, you let a convicted sex offender who had sex with a kid on your channel. And I have apologized. I've put out every apology I can do. I accept that I fucked up, I accept I made a mistake and I should have thought it through before filming a video with Caitlin, but I didn't and I tried to do the live stream on Twitter last night, there wasn't. Okay, my camera died, so I'm using my laptop, what fun. Um, as I was saying, I did fuck up with Caitlin, I fucked up by letting Caitlin on my channel, though, I'm going to say this very bluntly. I did not intentionally want to cause harm to anyone. That is not my intention. I make videos to try and help people. I... Nothing I say can make up for that. And I'm not going to do any typical YouTuber apology videos because that's not me. I'm only got to it. I fucked up. I let a fucking sex offender on my channel. I did. And... I haven't got an excuse. I just didn't think, and that's my fault. People have been sending me death, death threats and hate and aren't being very nice. Yesterday I lost over 50 followers because of the drama. And I officially want to say this now, I am no longer in London. I am moving back to London in September. Kurt is a twat. <laughs> um, just plain and simple. Um, I'm returning down to London to collect the rest of my belongings at some point. Um, the police have said it is okay for me to enter the property with, to get my things. Um, and I will. Um, currently editing this video and I don't want it to come across wrong which is why I'm filming stuff today and in the morning and like the day after because I am more level headed about it now. I understand that people are angry with me, and they have a right. Like I said, fucked up. I'm not a perfect human being. I'm gonna make mistakes. Like every other YouTuber, everyone else on YouTube makes mistakes. But I'm gonna be very honest here. There are people who are hating on me because I have a Patreon and because I have a PayPal link. I make videos every day for free. And people who sign up to Patreon get bonus content, they get to see more, they get rambles, they get blunt stuff, they get... I'm working on a new tier of um, self-care packages and people are like, oh you just want money because you're depressed and the fact is I'm not depressed, like I'm not at the moment, I'm actually... like yes yesterday was shit, like it was horrible and it didn't make me feel down, I do have depression but I'm actually doing quite well with my health and 
I want it to stay that way. Um, I hope you guys are doing okay, and like I said, I am sorry. But, you know, stay safe guys. Mm -hmm.